In this video, we'll show you how to pre-authorize, capture, and hold funds on a customer's card until invoicing. Pre-authorized payments are set up to provide merchants a simpler payment experience for future transactions. Pre-authorized transactions hold the amount of the transaction in suspense until the merchant is ready to settle the transaction. The SendPause displays as a payment type, enabling our functionality when you select a specific payment term configured to SendPause. Let's start by learning how to authorize with cashiering. When you select the options from Actions, this will open a pop-up widget. This cashiering SendPause integration widget sends customer transactions directly from your desktop to SendPause. On the screen, you will see two options, Card and Card on File. To input new card information, click the plus sign next to Card and either type the information or use a secure device. To use an existing card on the customer's file, click the plus sign next to Card on File. Once you click Done, the pre-authorization will be linked to the order. You can also use the Auth with Token tab to use stored payment methods on SendPause. At least one token must be saved by default, and you can add a new token without a transaction by clicking the Add Token button. Click History to see a simple transactions table with filters for tracking payments. You can configure D365 to automatically reauthorize and change the expiration date. You can even use a batch process for multiple orders on this table. After setting up the pre-authorization, go to the Invoice tab to complete and post the transaction. Once you are in the invoice, you will see near the top it says No Active Authorizations Found. Click on Send Pause Actions to create a final sale instead of pre-authorization. A pop-up window will appear on the right as we saw previously, but with more options. The items it shows can be configured via the Privileges section within the platform. The administrator can modify those privileges and the users will only see what privilege they have access to. In this pop-up, you'll select Card on File again. This pulls their card information from SendPause to D365. You can check to see that the card information matches. You can select this card and complete the sale. If a customer walks into the business and picks an item off the shelf, we support in-person transactions through a variety of payment types. If payment is selected via credit card, you skip the pre-authorization and go directly to invoicing. If the customer wants to make a return and you need to issue a refund, go to the Invoice tab. Under SendPause Actions, click Return with Cashiering and you will be able to return the payment based on the invoice number. These tools for capturing and holding funds with SendPause make it simple to manage transactions and simplify the experience for your customers.